Welcome back to our channel guys. If you're new here, we're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie and you join us on our round the world tour in Camper Van Kev. This week we visit a picturesque lake in Baloo before finding a couple of lovely park ups with caves and waterfalls. We hope you enjoy it. So we are here. This is on the outskirts of Baloo and it's a small village um, and it's very picturesque, isn't it? It's, it's like we're in Italy. It's got that alpine look to it. It's really nice, a lovely lake. Um, the pictures I've seen online are fantastic and someone recommended it to us on the last campsite. Mm. So we thought we'd come and have a look. It's a little bit choppy on the water today, so I don't think we're gonna get as good pictures of what we've seen online, but there's one particular house on the water which just looks really nice and scenic. So we're just having a little wander around the lake with Lou and the boys. Hopefully we'll find this spot and then uh, we're going to send the drone up. Yeah, there's, you pay an entrance fee. For us, it was 33 lira. Um, I think cars are cheaper. It's about £1.50-ish. Mm. And there's quite a few sp spots to actually park. There's a lot of um, picnic areas. Seems like a lot of the Turkish love a picnic. Um, so they're all dotted around the lake. Yeah, there's a lot of locals here. We've seen a couple of Turkish camper vans as well. It surprises us just how many Turkish people are into camping. I don't know why, but I just didn't really expect that. So it's really nice to see, really nice. And uh, gives the boys someone to play with as well, which is good. There's a campsite here as well, isn't there? Um, and some RV safari thing. I don't think we're gonna to spend too much time here, um, but it's just nice little stopover just to have a little look. Just come for the scene, right? <laughs> The lake is so picturesque, surrounded by lily pads and everything, loads of reeds, a lot of greenery. We've noticed this a lot in Turkey. You'd think it'd be a bit dry and not so green, um, but yeah, it's lovely and green. So we've just moved around a different side of the lake now, and this side's even more scenic than the other. Check this out. We've just come around the lake a little bit further. We've seen some wild horses. Well, I don't know if they're wild or not, but wild enough for us. Are you gonna hop on then, Frankie? Yeah. Do a little rodeo. We've seen driving around the lake that there's quite a few hotels here. So if anyone likes the countryside, um, not so much the touristy parts of coastal parts of Turkey, like Antalya and Marmaris and places like that, um this is the perfect place to come to have like a holiday in nature <laughs> it's horses it's just unbelievable um so yeah and there's also weddings going on so i i don't think the weddings are actually here maybe they get married in the hotels and then there's like um photographers um taking their photos around the sides of the lake in this lovely atmosphere so beautiful so after being around this lake how many times? Twice. Yeah. Um, and the police came past and said that it was prohibited to stay where we was because we was near the campsite. Um, we were just looking for the house that's meant to be really pretty and picturesque. Um, and so we showed him the picture and we were actually at the wrong lake. <laughs> it's just I don't know how I got it so wrong. <laughs> just about sums up our trip to be fair. Um, so yeah, we'd have liked to have shown you the house, but, and we'd have liked to have seen the house, maybe but another time. It's an hour away, the other lake, and uh, this one's just as beautiful anyway, so yeah. this has satisfied our nature needs. <laughs> it is really nice, and we do recommend it. So now we are going to head towards the coast um, and see if we can find a place to get our heads down for the night. So we picked up another hitchhiker in Turkey this time. He wants to go to the hospital and we're only going seven kilometres away. So 
not sure if it's on route to where we is. We've got to do a bit of Google Translate, see if it's where we want to go. But yeah, nice to meet some new friends. <laughs> <laughs> It turns out our new friend Omar wanted a bank as well. Perfect timing, really. Dave's walking in this heat because it's so hot today. Really warm. Can't wait to get to the campsite. It's on the beach. So hopefully it won't be too wavy and we can have a dip in the sea today. After giving our new mate a uh, lift this morning, we are now at the campsite. What a nice place it is as well. Um, 150 TL, which is about £6.90. Um, and it's got electric, it's got water, um, showers, so we are set for another couple of nights, I think. Um, we've just paid for one at the moment, but I think we're probably going to um, stay for two because it's so nice beachfront. I mean, how much more better can you get? And when she says electric, it's used at your own risk. She's already made friends with the strays. We've been looking for a beach park up for quite a while since being in Turkey, um, but they're quite hard to find. All the beaches are very, very busy, um, and a lot of you have to pay just to park on them anyway, so you may as well come to a campsite. Like Laura said, this campsite's only 150 lira, so about £7.50, and look, we're literally right on the beach. We've just had our first swim in Turkey as well, and it is lovely. The water's so warm. Only one jellyfish as well, compared to about a million in Bulgaria. So yeah, we're loving this. We're loving this campsite. There's even a little restaurant up there, so we may go up for a little snack later. You know you're in Turkey when they're calling you for Turkish prayer. Absolutely love it. Really feel like it's the culture. <laughs> having a late night dip <laughs> and I don't think Richard really wanted to get in there but the boys are forced into so Laura's done our own version of a Turkish breakfast this morning scrambled egg we got some jams, that's a Turkish jam. That honey is from Jeremy Clarkson's farm shop <laughs> from when we went there ages ago. Some melted cheese, beans, um, some toast in there, and uh, some more of the, I think they're called Turkish submits. Someone was walking along the beach selling these yesterday, so we picked four up, seeing as uh, we like them so much. They're lovely when you dip them in honey or jam. Or in the cheesy. Melted cheese. Yeah, and in the melted cheese. Lovely. Nice. <laughs> and what of you? And this is what they seem to do a lot. They seem to have a big breakfast, don't they? They mm. seem to come out with all their pots and pans. They all sit down as a family and eat. And it's, it's a nice way, actually, to... Uh, we've never really been to one for that, have we? It's a good way to start the day. Yeah. out on the bench overlooking the sea um, I've just finished editing last week's video so me and Laura were just watching through it um, and there's a Turkish family just over there they're just making their or they're just eating their lunch and they've just brung us some over <laughs> it's just so nice I just can't get over the hospitality of Turkey it's just they just blow you away every time don't they this is the, a common thing we found in turkey they're so free-hearted and they're always giving you food yeah. we try to return it as much as possible as well but we never have a great deal to give and we don't know what to give <laughs> so if you have any ideas what we can give leave it in the comments yeah i wish we'd have we spoke quite a few times on many occasions and we wish we'd have bought some like little tipsy jams or um, from where we're back home or some molden salt or something that we could have given back like from back at home from where we're from so 
I think um, the next person that comes out will have to do a big old order of the stuff that they can bring out to give out to people. Yeah, it'd be nice to give them some stuff that we have back at home because we're always receiving Turkish food items. Um, and it'd be nice to do like trade them for English food items so they get to experience what we have as well. So they've given us some, um, looks like some rolls and some, um, they're a t Turkish dish. My mum makes them back at home um, and they're like uh, rice, that, or sometimes I think they put meat in them but they're wrapped in vine leaves. Um, so I've been looking forward to making these. Richie hasn't tried one before I don't think. So. They look nice though. Yeah, they look really nice. Brilliant. We love Turkey and the <laughs> Turkish people. Well, ladies first. <laughs> they're really nice. They're um, they're really. You don't even know the word to describe that. You can tell the spices that they're using in it, and it's like rice all in inside vine leaves wrapped round but it's like a tomato -y type taste to it it's really really tasty so we decided to return the favour with our vine leaves lunch with some chicken on a bone so whether they're gonna like it or not <laughs> we're trying to think of more things so we might when we go to the supermarket we might try and get some baklava um, so we can always have that in the van so we can give that out as a gesture people so this is what they're getting hopefully they like it <laughs> i'm sure they will who don't like a bit of chicken yeah, I suppose. it's our last day here today um we've just got everything packed up we're gonna have one last shower and then we're off so i'm gonna go over show you what the shower and the services are like over there but yeah we're gonna miss this one what a nice spot i know i've said it many times but it's a good site this one definitely recommend it so there's two volleyball courts or nets that the boys have been making the most of. There's not as many kids on this site as the last one, so they haven't had many people to play with. But there's a few things for them to do still. They have some outdoor showers for if you come from the beach or whatever. There's also a little foot washing point over there. Then there's a block of four showers. Um, only cold water. Nothing fancy either, but it does the job wakes you up in the morning that's for sure then they also have the toilet block a little sink there to wash your hands in the turkish toilets they take some getting used to i think there's three or four like that and then they also have a washing up point where laura is just washing our clothes before we leave a few of the small bits it's another perk to having this Raining, uh, scrubbing board. Scrubbing board. Um, best buy, I think, in the van. Eight pound on Amazon before we come. And when they've not got washing machines, obviously you can't do big stuff. But a few t-shirts and pants and socks works a treat. And then just at the top of the steps there, there's it's like the reception area really, where you pay your money. And um, they also sell a few cold drinks and a few ice creams. I know they're only cold showers, but when it's as hot as it has been, um, it's quite nice having a cold shower. Not lovely and refreshing. They don't have an actual black waste facility here, but he has said that we can empty it down the toilet, so at least we can get rid of that as well. So while Laura's filling the water up before we go, I thought I'd show you the finished result with the stickers. Well happy with them, they suit it. Got one for all sides so we definitely won't be missed perfect just one more on the front there lovely job so we've just left the park up um we're headed towards a masra but from where we are at the moment is about three hours drive so we don't want to do that especially not in this heat um, so we're going to poodle down, um, I think we found one about two hours away, um, a campsite, uh, no just a park up today, not a campsite, um, and it looks quite a good one actually, it's got some caves, it's got a restaurant, 
Um, looks like a picnic type area, doesn't it, Rich? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just caves and that to explore. Richie found this one on park for night, so we shall have a look at that. Um, hopefully it's as good as what we've had. That campsite was absolutely brilliant. And for £7.50, you can't go wrong. So we're just going to go and top up with some diesel. Um, Well, we've made it to the park up. Once again, more cows. I told you, they follow us everywhere. One over here as well. There's Kev. They seem to follow us wherever we go. So we actually got here yesterday, but we had quite a bit going on yesterday, which we had to sort out on the phone and that. So um, we didn't go down there in the end. So we did have a little fire and a little barbecue last night and we're gonna go and explore it today. Laura went down for a little peek and she said it looks really nice and pretty down there. And there's also a restaurant with a little bit of a twist. So I'm quite looking forward to see that. So it's a beautiful park up here, it, right in nature, all green scenery, lovely mountain backdrops. Kev suits it quite well here, I think. I think he quite likes it. He's made some friends with the cows. So we're just gonna have a take a stroll down. Um, Show the boys and Richie the cave that I took a little quick look at yesterday. I think this is one of our best park ups yet to be completely in nature like this with the greenery of the mountains. It's just really beautiful. Um, so we're going to go and take a look down now um, at the little restaurant and the cave and have a little dip in the water. So how nice is this? Little bridge going over the river there. There's the restaurant and they have tables actually sitting in the river. So we're going to check that out surely. There's also an old, it's like a sort of Ottoman style bridge really, really pretty. So let's go over and see what it's like. Laura, the boys and Lou, they're here ready. Don't look the safest bridge. It feels like we're in a jungle. That crickety noise and the freshness of the leaves just uh really makes it feel alive up here. Now there's a lot of dodgy looking bridges here, but they feel surprisingly safe, so we're gonna risk it. But now, looks like we're climbing up a mountain. Thank you, Bob. Wow, check this out. What a cool looking cave. Shall we explore it a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. What? 
Wow, look at this. Now you can go through there, but I don't think none of us are brave enough, so we're gonna leave that. One good thing though, it's a lot cooler down here. Can you see my breath? A lot cooler. It's quite sandy down here, so it's actually quite hard to get up and down. Good job we got Lou to pull us. It seems like this is one of Turkey's hidden gems because there's hardly anybody here. It seems like not many people know about it. Um, so it's definitely worth a look at. So now we're climbing back down because I think there's a pool that the other end of the cave comes out to and I think you can swim in it. This water is absolutely freezing. It's like all the other waterfalls that we've been in, they are just so cold. Now that was not easy at all. These rocks are slippery as anything. I fell right over once, but we've made it. We're up here. Luna was crying because she couldn't get up the big rocks, but then she ran round and she found a different way around the mountains. So she's here as well. And this is the other end of the cave. <laughs> Come back to the van for a little while and now it's cooled off um, and now it is dinner time so we're going to go and have a special treat down at the restaurant. <laughs> restaurant is called Dimela Cafe Restaurant. Probably not pronounced it right, but here we go. So how good is this place? Never sat in a river to have dinner before. <laughs> and to top it off as well, they've actually got gozlimes. So it's going to be our first gozlimes that we've tried in Turkey. Yeah, I think we've got a potato one and a sausage and cheese one, didn't we? Yep. Um, well, that's what we've got from Google Translate. Whether that comes out like that or not, we don't really know. But There's it's... pictures though, so they look good either way. Yeah, it does look nice. We've also got some kind of platter thing as well, which looked really good, didn't it? Mm. What a way to spend and have dinner. I'm not going to lie, my feet are rather cold, but it is very refreshing. We've got a gozleme, which is a typical Turkish dish. This one's um, sausage with cheese, and this one's a potato one. And then we've got this little sharing kind of platter, which has got um, some sort of like Frankfurt sausage with some chips. Not sure what these things are, look a bit like an onion ring. The boys have gone for um, like a toasty. I think, Fred, you've got cheese, haven't you? Yeah. And Frankie's gone for a sausage one. So what's that like? Worth the wait? Mm. It's a bit like um, the like naan bread sort of style that you have at an Indian, but with potato in it. It's very nice, tasty. This one is a sausage and cheese one. Mm. A bit like a pancake. 
Yeah, it is like a pancake, crossed with like a pishwari, not a uh, pishwari naan kind of taste, isn't it? <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Once again, that was another really cheap meal, 230 lira. So I think that's about 11 pound roughly. Absolute bargain. It's so cheap to eat out here, it's unbelievable. And that includes drinks as well. Got to show you another example of Turkish hospitality. There's some more picnickers come today. Um, if they're not offering food, they're offering tea. And this is what we've got now, a nice cup of Turkish tea. I think they call it chai. And here we have it. Perfect. This is who helped us make some tea. They gave us some tea. It looks so nice. We can't wait to try it. <laughs> this is a lovely family. Very kind. Very kind. So this is how they make it. A lot of the camp, a lot of the Turkish people, when they come for camping and they do a lot of picnics, they bring a full setup, um, and it includes a tea urn and everything. Absolutely brilliant. We should do more of this at home. This is what we love about Turkey. It doesn't matter about the language barrier. It doesn't matter about religion. Um, everyone just gets on with each other. And it's like we're like in the family. <laughs> it's just so nice. Um, the boys are now playing football with the two little girls over there. And it's just such a nice relaxing evening. I know we keep going on about the hospitality of the Turkish people, but we just want to get it across to everyone just how hospitable they are. It's um, yeah, you just need to experience it. And if there's one life, I'll, if there's one country I recommend for van life, it's Turkey without a doubt. Everyone's so welcoming, um, and they just make you fit right in. This is the good thing about Google Translate. That was lovely, thank you. <laughs> the lovely lady, she's just offered to host us in our home. And they're also giving us some really good recommendations for uh, places which are a little bit less touristy. Such lovely people. That's it for this week, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week as we visit Saffron Blue. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe.